Claude Frollo, well now, he's um, a religious zealot. We've tried to make him into a, a fully fleshed, three-dimensional character, a tragic figure rather than uh, an out-and-out -out senseless villain. In other words, everything he does in a wicked sense is understandable but not excusable. See, Frollo, when he's trying to get his own way, tends to be arch. <laughs> That's the way I see him. In other words, you could see through him, really. Because nobody trusts him. I mean, Phoebus doesn't trust him right from the word go. But I did not forget about you. Oh, I've been doing it for quite some time now. Trust me, I know my job. Why does everyone hate me so? Why does everyone try to run from me or try to bribe me? Do people know how that makes me feel? I am the magical wishing starfish. You have braved many dangers to find me. When you follow your dream, you must overcome many obstacles. My molecular converter was damaged during our escape from the Galactic Patrol. But this primitive proton accelerator will restore it sufficiently to achieve my aim. Prepare our descent to Earth. This device will give me supreme power. On the clearest of nights, when the winds of the Ethereum were calm and peaceful, the great merchant ships with their cargoes of Arcturian solar crystals felt safe and secure. I've come to collect your father. Don't worry, mademoiselle. We'll take good care of him. Greetings, mortals. Uh, Watson's the name. Perhaps you've heard of me. My family has a rather remarkable history. I, in fact, had an uncle whose nose was so keen he could smell a tick on a Pomeranian 200 miles away. How dare you invade the sanctum of the master of Jumanji? Return to your clue. Return to the gate or be destroyed. Very well. Then be destroyed. <laughs> All I can tell you, Lara, is that if he persists in predicting the end of the world, it'll be the end, all right, of his political and professional career. He hasn't one support of his theory. They even avoid him in the hallways. And do you know why? Because you can never be wrong, Jorel. You can never let it go. You have an ego the size of Argos. Welcome to the party, sister. I got a few friends just aching to meet you. <laughs> Looks like the squirrely girly blew it. Congratulations, Secret. Another case brilliantly solved. Uh, one small matter still puzzles me, though. Whatever did you do with all those gold teeth? Anorexic chihuahuas and the overweight women who make them wear vicious sweaters. Truly a masterpiece. For the benefit of the viewing audience, a special filter will be applied to the following scene so our fans may see all the action in total darkness. Thank you. The day after that, her fingernails grew long and ugly. And the day after that, she developed bizarre cravings for the most unusual foods. Yes, Master Dormammu, I am yours to command. I am not a delusion, my boy. I've merely come to you in my astral form. I want to restore to you that which is rightfully yours, the symbiote. You are free to go, but you will surely perish in the storm. And I have much to tell you. Some wanted to leave you to freeze, but others felt we should save you. The heady aroma of life. Soon, my great hunger shall gnaw. No longer. You have disrupted my cosmic timetable for the last time. Your housekeeping doesn't concern me, Zazu. It's your record-keeping which I find atrocious. Ahem. <clears throat> your official tally of the number of animals in the jungle is off. Not only that, you're fired. I'm putting the gopher in charge. When you're awake, the things you think 
come from the dreams you dream. Thought has wings, and lots of things are seldom what they seem. Sometimes you think you've lived before, all that you live today. Things you do come back to you, as though they knew the way. Oh, the tricks your mind can play. It seems we stood and talked like this before. We looked at each other in the same way then. But I can't remember where or when. The clothes you're wearing are the clothes you wore. The smile you are smiling, you were smiling then. But I can't remember where or when. Some things that happened for the first time seem to be happening again. And so it seems that we have met before and laughed before. and loved before. But who knows where or when? So it seems that we have met before and laughed before and loved before. But who knows? I didn't think anyone was paying attention. Oh, women can be so silly. They think because you are an artist, you must also be a great lover. <laughs> they think because you are a master in the studio, you must also be a master in the bedroom. <laughs> they think because you can work a piece of clay into a piece of beautiful art, you can also work a woman's body into fits of ecstasy and passion and total screaming abandon. <laughs> the girls. I played me a waiting game. If a maid refused me with tossing curls, why, I'd let the old earth take a couple of whirls, and I'd ply her with tears in lieu of pearls. And as time came around, she came my way. As time came around, she came. But it's a long, long while from May to December. And the days grow short when you reach September. And the autumn weather turns the leaves to flame. 
one hasn't got time for the waiting game. And the days dwindle down to a precious few. September. November. And these few precious days I'll spend with you. These precious days I'll spend with you. You see how easy this is, Hillary? Only by confronting your claustrophobia will you be able to overcome it. Now, say your mantra. Yes, Doctor. I beat you 70 years ago, and now my grandson is gonna beat your grandson. If you plant them, they will grow. Uh, fetch a pencil and a piece of paper. I'll go slow. If you plant seeds, they will grow into vegetables. Lion. Magnificent. Irresistible. Round trees, lion bar. Bite it, crunch it, chew it. Ah, so this is the gallant Captain Phoebus, home from the wars. Your service record precedes you, Phoebus. I expect nothing but the best from a war hero of your caliber. The time has come, Gypsy. You stand upon the brink of the abyss. I can save you from the flames of this world and the next. Call me Makrob. For seven centuries I've been tracking the creature you speak of. The creature known as Lotan. His destruction is both my mission and my destiny. Lotan destroys, he breathes, and all tools, all weaponry, all things mechanical go awry. Your sister gave you the mumps, your brother gave you the flu, your best friend gave you chicken pox. It's payback time, with help from Dr. Mario. Go head to head on NES or link up on Game Boy. Then contaminate, exterminate and spread the viruses. When you score, you infect your opponent, make him sweat, run a fever, get the chills. Dr. Mario, with two players, it's germ warfare. Where is he? Oh, <laughs> The man cub, Mowgli. I know you know. Oh, please don't insult my intelligence. It makes me irritable. I know where he isn't. Now tell me where he is. Greetings, children. Have you finally realized the truth and decided to join the Brotherhood? You recite Xavier's rhetoric like a politician running for office. This kind of power, this kind of challenge, this kind of flying, crashing, feeling. When you decide to get serious, there's only one place to come. The games of Super Nintendo. No one else creates this kind of experience. Because no one else creates these kinds of games. Now you're playing with power. Super power. Of the wind that cracks the stones, where the sun will bleach your bones, and the legend there that's known as Gunga Dot. We were traveling out of Kari on an elephant safari when I heard the cry. Kirby's back in the flabby one brought three rowdy friends at the pumped up, powered up Kirby and Kirby's Dream Land 2. New the Game Boy and Super Game Boy. I'm glad you finally came to your senses, Bob. A wise decision, Guardian. I won't disappoint you. It's simple, Bob. All you need to do is stabilize this tear into a portal. Really? Somehow I find that hard to believe. How nice of you all to drop by. Uh, in gratitude for uncovering this subterfuge, I suppose I can reimburse you for your kumquats. Magneto has arrived, only in X-Men 2 for Sega Genesis. Now two can play the most mutant heroes. And Magneto. Marvel's X-Men 2 for Sega Genesis. Hardware and game cartridge, each sold separately. Yes? Marvelous. What sadism. Ah, my chance at last. I've always wanted to own the tick. Three of your favorite tastes are coming together in Golden Graham's Treats. Catch this, Golden Graham's Treats. 
smashed with marshmallow, topped with chocolate, and crammed with gram. I grant but one boon, mortal, and it will be given to you as it is given to everyone. When your time has come, death is always pointless. That is the point. Careful, this last part is tricky. Congratulations on your <laughs> Now hurry up with those fireworks. If this show doesn't start at sundown, these law-abiding patriotic citizens are gonna get ugly. New from the Disney movie Hercules. Your Hercules. Prove yourself and save the world from Hades. With sword, with axe, with tribal, defeat the evil Nessus. And with Pegasus, crush the monster Cyclops. Uh, this is a waste of time, Siege. The chameleon and I have searched this whole area. I only hope they're not too crushed by this. <laughs> you won't be able to live without her pristine. Without Robin, Daddy Starling's trust fund money will go bye bye bye, and you'll be out in the cold, cold, cold. Once upon a time, in a land rich in lore, lived a band of mischievous creatures by the Castle Dunsmore. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you had a wonderful childhood, Buzz. But your answers to these emotional fitness tests indicate that you need a vacation. Badly. I'm afraid Norman's end is predestined, mighty one. It is part of your destiny. You recall the painting in the Chamber of Destiny? It's not in your closet. It's not under your bed. It's coming for you. The best-selling book series is getting scarier. On April 4th, prepare for mystery, passion, and some really cheap laughs. Warner Home Video proudly presents Century 2000, big comedy. The laughs begin with two new special editions, Barry Levinson's Diner and the Katharine Hepburn classic, The Philadelphia Story. And gentlemen, my name is Donut, Jago Donut. Let's get down to business. But all of these treasures pale in comparison to the incredible power of what I'm about to show you next. Greetings, gullible rubes. May I have a victim from the audience? Give me the bag and I won't hurt you. Ow! <clears throat> Annabelle, I would consider it a great... Whoa! You wanted more and it's here. Batman and Mr. Freeze, Sub-Zero. Deep within the frozen Arctic, the love of Victor Freeze was shattered. An all-new feature-length adventure. Batman animation beyond anything you've seen before. Now, Disneyland brings you bigger, bolder adventures. Five days of fun for the price of two with a free day's Flex Passport. Call 1-800-524-9500 or your travel agent now for vacation package information. Experience the thrills of the Indiana Jones adventure and all the magic of Disneyland with the free day's Flex Passport. Come have a ball at Disneyland. Call 1-800-524-9500 or your travel agent now. We'll meet sooner than you think, Dragon, for you're about to receive a formal invitation. It makes no sense for freaks to fight amongst themselves. A dragon is more valuable to us alive. Answer the charges against you! Say something! I have one more question which I know you must answer. Are you Christ, the Son of the Blessed One? Jonah, arise. Go to Nineveh, that great city, and preach repentance to them, as I told you before. Your petty actions are irrelevant, Raziel. Mobius was a good servant, but he was of no further use. His long life had run its course. Remarkable disguise, simply remarkable. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were a boy. Wait a second. You are a boy. Oh, there must be some mistake. Before the penguin, before the cat, we spend an evening with the man who started it all. Jack Nicholson, Michael Keaton, Batman, Wednesday. These Renaissance festival costumes get more uncomfortable every year. Let the annoying puppet show begin. Well, we could always use another jester. 
Even the tiniest seagrass plays a part in her delicate and eternal ballet. Austin Powers, international man of mystery, was frozen in 1967 and defrosted in the 90s to battle his nemesis, Dr. Evil. After foiling his archenemy's plan to send a nuclear warhead to the center of the Earth, Austin banished Dr. Evil to the cold recesses of space and settled down with his new wife, Vanessa, to live happily ever after. Or so he thought. Well, uh, as I believe you were told before, please, uh, I I'll do better next time. Oh, no. N not detention. Not detention! No, please, I can fix it. Don't do this to me! Who disturbs the peace of the Lord of the Amulet? And you dare present yourself again so soon? Let's turn back! No harm must come to it. Bring me this person, dead or alive. I want Cyber 9. Well, I'm quite impressed. My spies told me you were resourceful, but they seem to have underestimated your talents. The FEV virus was discovered by the Master many years ago. The spell that was cast cannot be broken by the waving of wands and spells misspoken. Instead, gather items of the magical type, using them wisely to set it all right. Waiter? I say, waiter, this is broccoli. Let me make it perfectly clear when I tell you I am not a vegetarian. I see. We set ourselves up as the workers' champions and protectors. But if we're clever about it, most of them will be the anarchists and miscreants in the crowd. <laughs> Courage, intelligence, and determination. No battle is ever won without them. As you gaze out upon those who would oppose you, do you also look beyond yourself for the tools required for victory? We don't know where she's from or how she came to be. Tiny angel in a skirt. The circle had failed in its sworn duties. It had to be destroyed. Nay, I will embrace it. But my death will leave one more to take, Princeling. Finish me! How does a simple spider like Holly get mandibles wagging? What about me? Aren't I a spiderific father? I know. I'll show them spiderific. <laughs> now on video. A place outside time. An age-old prophecy. A courageous journey to bring light from darkness. The powers of good and evil struggle to possess the Dark Crystal. Oh, but I do. I know everything. Phil got a new Reptar doll. Lil got a new coloring book. This is Mrs. Belivick's patented cod liver soup. It's very, very good for you. There are enough pounds here to keep a man in potato chips and guacamole dip for the rest of his life if he's the sort of man who knows when to stop asking questions. My name is Winston St. George. Two weeks ago, I was walking down the street when I spied a rare Siberian tiger hound worth thousands. Yes, all goes according to plan. We'll go into the president's body, all right. Hello, this is Dr. Lipschitz. If you have a question about nutrition, press 1 now. Will Han Solo on his Tauntaun and Luke Skywalker in his Snowspeeder dare attack the Imperial base. Only you can decide. With Star Wars toys, 